students today we are going to learn letters uh, letters are a very important means of keeping keeping in contact with our relatives with our friends with our acquaintances we also write letters to official governments business letters job applications letter to editor and so many other letters unlike telephonic conversations letters can be preserved till posterity all right uh, also they are better and deeper and also a creative expression of our thoughts clear now writing a letter is of course an art letters can be broadly classified into two type kinds one is informal letters informal letters are written to our uh, friends family relatives right and uh, formal letters are written to the business officials the government officials right and we also write job applications they all fall under formal letters in today's lesson we are going to learn editorial letters right because many uh, many uh, kinds of letters are not coming for your course business letters and placing order and inquiry letters they are not coming for your course so the most important is editorial letters what are editorial letters right editorial letters are the letters which are written to the editor of any newspaper right now the second question is why would we write a letter to the editor of any newspaper we write letter to the editor of any newspaper to present our views on any social issue of course the editors of newspaper cannot help us they just give voice to our views they can present our views to their newspaper and that's all they can do right so first of all we write we present our views through newspaper and for that we have to write a letter to the editor number 2 suppose you have read any article in the newspaper and you want to add your views in uh, related to that article then also you can write a write an editorial letter all right the third thing third thing is you can also complain through editorial letters again i'm telling you nothing can be done or no editor can help you in any way but of course they can voice your views right so i told you editorial letters can be written for uh, three reasons number one you can present your views on social issue social issues like uh children are not respecting their elders students are using too much gadgets right covid you can present your views on covid right then uh, you can present your views how people are becoming negative uh, in this time of covid right so there are so many social issues uh, on which you can present your views taking the help of any newspaper all right Number 2 if you have already read an article in newspaper but you may disagree or you want to add your own views all right so that in that case also you write editorial letter third if you want to complain against something like you can say e teasing right uh, rash uh, road uh, you know the rash driving of people on road all right so these are few things you can complain against through newspaper or you can voice your views uh, related to these things these complaints through newspaper right so these are the three reasons why we write editorial letters right moving next now there is a particular format which we need to follow to write an editorial letter first of all i am going to tell you the a uh, format of it on top will come the sender's address all right now children sender's address uh, is the address of the person who is writing the letter children never mention your personal identity in your answer scripts the address that that is given in question you are supposed to write that address all right do not write your own address do not write your name 
in sender's address. The name and the address is already given in the question itself. You have to use that same address and same name. All right. Now, you're going to leave a line over here and then you're going to write date. All right. I am going to tell you how to write sender's address. I am also going to tell you how to write date. There is a format for writing date too. Again, you're going to leave a line here. Then you're going to write receiver's address. Right? Then after that, what are you going to do is, you are going to write salutation. Salutation, respected sir, dear sir, all right, or only sir. Then you're going to write subject. Children, you may conserve few refreshers and you may find that subject may come first and salutation afterwards. But the format has changed. Now salutation will come first and then the subject, all right? And then you're going to start writing the body of the letter. Now here, minimum three and maximum four paragraphs, right? In the body of the letter, you are supposed to write either three or four paragraphs, right? The introduction paragraph, I am going to tell you what are you supposed to write in the introduction paragraph, right? The first paragraph, introduction paragraph, right? Then two paragraphs, you're going to write the problems and the solutions. If you're discussing any social issue, you need to write the problems and the solutions of the problem of the social issue you are discussing through or you're presenting your views through newspaper. Then the concluding paragraph, all right, the conclusion is going to come in the fourth paragraph, all right, the fourth paragraph will, from, uh, will tell the conclusion of the letter. You may write the problems and the solutions in one paragraph also, so here it will be third paragraph, right? Then it will be subscription, what do you mean by subscription children? Subscription means thank you, yours sincerely, right? and your name and signature. This is known as subscription part, right? So this is the format of the letter children. On top will come sender's address, leave a line. It is mandatory to leave the line uh, above date and below date, right? Then you're going to write date, then receiver's address, then salutation, then subject and the body of the letter and then the subscription, all right? So this is the format. You please copy down the format. Now I'm going to teach you in detail that how will you write sender's address? How will you present your date? How will you write receiver's address, salutation and so on. Copy this down children. All right, students. So till here we have understood the format of editorial letter. What editorial letters are? Editorial letters are the letters which are written to the news to, to the editor of any newspaper. And why do we write the letter to the editor of any newspaper, children? Because we want to get our views printed. We want to give voice to our views through the medium of newspaper. All right. So here uh, the editorial letters are the letters which are written to the editor of any newspaper so that we can get our article printed in his or her newspaper. All right. So here we are going to, I also told you the format of editorial letter, sender's address, then we are going to leave a line and then the date, then we are again going to leave a line, then receiver's address, then salutation, then subject, then the body of the letter. Body of the letter can have three paragraphs and maximum four paragraphs, right? And closing will have signature, name and designation if there is any designation. If there is no designation, a responsible citizen. You can write a responsible citizen, all right? So this is the format, children. Now, I am going to tell you how to write the address in a, how to write an editorial letter in a proper manner, right? Children, first of all, to begin with sender's address. The sender's address is given in the question. As I told you, do not mention your own identity. This must have been taught to you in class 10th also that do not write your name or your address. The name and the address which is given in the question has to be written over here. All right. In the in sender's address. But one more thing is here. You do not need to write your name. 
Never write your name in sender's address. That your name will come in closing. Alright. But do not write your name in sender's address. Right. You have to just mention the house number, the area and the city or the state. Alright. That's it. Nothing other than that. So on top, for example, if the sender's address in question is given, you are Amit slash Amita of 192 oblique 31 Vasat Vihar Pune. Alright. So you have to write a letter to you have to write a letter to the editor of the Hindu. Alright. The name of the newspaper is also sometimes given in the question. So do not mention any other name of newspaper. Do not mention any other name. Do not mention any other address. Right. So to begin with, we have to write the address of the sender. Right. So I told you the house number. Suppose it is given 192 oblique 31 and the area Vasat Vihar 3rd is Pune. Right. Now children, please concentrate on a very important point over here. Did I mention or have I mentioned any punctuation mark over here? Previously, you used to put commas over here and full stop over here. But do not put any punctuation over here now. You, the marks will be deducted if you put any punctuation mark. Alright. Number two, do not leave any space over here. Previously, you used to write it like this, like Pune used to come in middle. But this is wrong way of writing sender's address. You need to write everything close to the margin. Your complete address should be aligned close to the margin. Alright. So, here in three lines, we have mentioned sender's address. And sender's address will come in the same way, the way I have mentioned. You have to write... Uh, v just below 1 and P just below V. But this is just an example. Okay, you have to mention the address which will come in the question. 1% very less chances are there that the sender's address will not be given in the question. Alright, very less chances. Always it is given. But in uh, case it is not given, write some imaginary address. Alright, you can mention any address but it should be imaginary. Do not use your address over here. Alright, then date will come. Here you are going to leave a line children. After sender's address, you are supposed to leave a line. Then date. Date has a, a, a you know, a fixed format. How are you going to write the date? Suppose so today is 22nd December 2020. Now here the month will always come in words. Do not write oblique. This is the wrong and inappropriate way of writing date. Alright. This is not correct way of writing date. Date will come this way where month will come in words. Am I clear in this also? Now coming on to receiver's address. Receiver, a receiver here is the editor of newspaper. So just fix this address in your mind. The receiver's address will begin with the editor. Alright. Then the name of the newspaper. Alright. Do not write it in the same line. Students make mistake and write the name of the newspaper also in the same line. So here the name of the newspaper will come. For example, the Hindu and Pune. Clear? But one more thing is very important over here and that is the PIN code number. Alright. You might not know the PIN code of Pune but in that case put 6 X's over here. Alright. This PIN code can also come here. You can put 6 X's over here also. But use fourth line and put 6 X's over here to indicate that you know you are supposed to place PIN code number over here. Alright. So this is one thing. Then the salutation will come. Salutation means sir slash ma'am. Do not write respected. Dear can also come. But then sir slash ma'am is very formal. Alright. Why are we mentioning both sir also and ma'am also? Because we do not know whether the editor of the Hindu is male or female. So in that case you place ma'am also and sir also. Alright. Then will come the subject. What will be the subject? First of all, please remember, do not line, write lines in subject. Students mention one or two lines uh, for subject. This is really 
uh, you know, you know, inappropriate way of writing subject. Sh subject should be short and encapsulated. You know how the capsule works? It is so small and it is so powerful, right? So the subject should be really small, short of three to four words and it should be powerful. For example, if you are writing a letter to the editor requesting him to print your views, uh, you know, to present significance of planting more and more trees. So in that case, write very short subject, uh, for example, say significance of afforestation. Alright, so it is just three words, right? And it is really, uh, you know, uh, it is telling us what the article is all about. Alright, so here the subject will be very short. Do not write lines. Students, you know, make mistakes of writing two to three lines in subject. You are not writing a letter in the subject. You are just mentioning what the title of the subject is, right? So here the subject will come. Then we will begin, begin the body of the letter. In the same way, children, please understand, I have not put punctuation marks anywhere. Did I put comma over here? No, this is wrong. Did I put full stop over here? No, this is also very wrong. Alright, so do not put punctuation marks anywhere. Secondly, do not move your words away from margin. Alright, this is also very wrong and marks will be deducted for that also. Do not write Pune in center. Students, you know, usually write uh, the address in very inappropriate manner. They write uh, the place, the city or the state in center, which is wrong. Alright, just everything should be aligned close to the margin. Suppose this is the margin of your paper. So everything should come this way. Clear everyone? Now coming on to the body of the letter children, which is really, really important, right? Now here, uh, please understand the beginning of the letter. The beginning of the letter can be of your choice. But here I have written few beginnings which will be very useful for you children. The very common way of beginning the editorial letter is through the columns of your newspaper, the Hindu, for example, the Hindu, I wish to draw the attention of authorities concerned towards. I wish to draw the attention of people and authorities concerned towards. Now, after towards, you can mention your problem. So, let's stick on one problem that is deforestation. Alright, I am going to give an example, uh, you know, of deforestation and teach you how to write the editorial letter. So here, through the columns of your newspaper, the Hindu, I wish to draw the attention of authorities concerned and people towards the problem that is rising of deforestation, of all, of cutting down the trees ruthlessly and brutally. Alright, so here, after two words, you are going to write your problem. But there is yet another way you can begin your letter with and it is also in a very polished language. I wish to use a column of your illustrious newspaper. What do you mean by illustrious? Respectable. Alright, here you are giving respect to the newspaper. Alright, so I wish to use the column of your illustrious newspaper, the Hindu, to make the blith. Blith means casual society. Casual society is not, you know, emphasizing on important things. Society is not giving due importance to the plantation of trees, for example, right? So, here, blith means casual. So, here I have mentioned few different words which would help you to make your letter more creative, right? In the beginning of my lesson, I told you that writing a letter is an art. Do not present your letter in a very simple manner. Alright, try to be innovative, try to be different, try to be use creative, you know, words, language. Alright, so here, blend society, privy of. What do you mean by privy? Privy means knowledgeable, giving some knowledge. Alright, so blend society, privy of the significance of. Right, so significance of, again we are taking the example of plantation of trees, significance of planting more and more trees. Are you understanding? This is something different that you can use. Another beginning, if you have already read an article, right, uh, related to plantation of trees or cutting down of trees, right, so you can begin your letter like, this is in the reference of the article printed in your newspaper, dated, then you can write date of 10 days back, right, suppose today is 22nd, you can write on 12th December 2020 on plantation of trees. 
I wish to add my views. So you have already read an article in this newspaper. Now you want to add your views. So the letter will begin with this is in the reference of the article printed in your newspaper dated. You can write the date 10 days back or 7 days back. It is your wish dated so and so date and then I wish to add my views. Now here what you want to what you should keep in mind is the language should be humble polite. In business letters we can use a stern language but in editorial letter where you are requesting the person right where you are requesting the authorities where you are requesting people to actually do what you want or to actually follow what you are suggesting them you should be humble you should be you know very uh, uh, you should use quiet you know a, a very uh, requesting language all right don't write i want to get my news published in your newspaper nobody is a servant over there all right so you need to use a very humble language okay then in one paragraph you can write three problems if the trees will not be uh, planted four problems if the trees will not be planted all right proper oxygen uh, you know will not be received by people furniture then papers then so many other things right so you can write problems that can actually occur due to deforestation solutions also if people are cutting down trees that is okay to fulfill the needs but you should equally plant more and more trees all right so you need to present problems also and solutions also what mistake students do is they do mention the problems but they do not present the solutions which is really wrong all right so what you need to do is mention the problems as well as solutions last year a question came where the editorial letter was to be written uh, you know regarding the loudspeakers that are being played in marriages right people students presented a lot you know a lot of problems that can actually occur due to uh, loudspeakers right they said the animals are affect, getting affected the old people are not able to sleep the children are not able to study the people who are returning from their jobs are not able to uh, take rest people students presented a lot number of you know problems but no solutions if you are writing an editorial letter you should also suggest few ways uh, you know how we can overcome these problems like if the loudspeaker problem is there then you can suggest that fine should be imposed on people who are playing loudspeakers after 10 o'clock right then proper patrolling should be done right police should be more aware about it should be alert about it so what am i trying to tell you is in editorial letters though the editor of newspaper cannot do anything please remember this you are just giving voice to your views you are just requesting people and authorities concerned to look into this matter editor of newspaper cannot do anything cannot help you out in this all right so what you can do is you can present you can actually present problems and solutions and when people will read those problems and solutions then they will get to know what society is facing am i clear in this so here when after the first paragraph you can copy these beginnings children these are really important because when you begin your letter in correct and polished language the teacher automatically gets impressed and gives give you good marks all right so it should be like i wish to use a column of an illustrious newspaper illustrious respectable newspaper the hindu to make the bread society privy of the significance of right or through, if you want to go for a simple one through the columns of your newspaper the hindu i wish to draw the attention of authorities concerned towards and people also right uh, there are other uh, you know view, uh, other beginnings also as i told you this is in the reference of the uh, article printed in your newspaper dated so and so and i wish to add my views do not write i want to add my views nobody is your servant over there right so understand this then in uh, next two paragraphs or in next one paragraph the problems and solution rela solutions related to your subject the last paragraph which is really really important children you can write a simple ending right here now this is one more uh, beginning no this is the ending only through the column i make uh, an earnest appeal to the general public to plant more and more trees this can be the ending right this is one ending through this column i make an earnest earnest true request to people to the general public to plant
plant more and more trees. Just for example, all right. I request you to publish my views in your newspaper so that my views may reach across the globe. Because what are you going through editorial letter? You are voicing your views again and again. I'm telling you. So here also uh, at the end of the letter, you can request the editor of the newspaper to publish your views in his newspaper so that your views may reach across the globe. This is something that I have written and this is not available in books or somewhere but this is in polished language. You can use this paragraph please. This one has been written by me and this one has been written by me. So you can use these lines. These are polished lines and will help you a lot, right? So what I have written is paying heed to the above mentioned issue. Heed means attention, right? Pay heed to above mentioned issues and suggestions. With all due respect, I implore. Implore means request. I implore you to publish this in your newspaper to make the mankind realize the importance of of any issue that you want to make mankind realize of. Getting me here? So these two lines have been written by me children. You can use these lines, right? These are, uh, you know, uh, a few good words I have tried to use in these uh, two paragraphs, right? You can make your own beginning and ending. The way, the kind of beginning and ending is uh, that is required, I have already mentioned here, right? And, uh, at the end of the lesson will come the signature, your signature. Right? Suppose, as I told you in the beginning, you are Amit slash Amita. So, if you are a boy, you are going to select the name Amit. If you are a girl, you are going to select the name Amita. So, signature can be like, like this, anything. Right? Then, name should be Amit. Right? Amit Kumar or anything, you can even put the surname. Right? And then the designation, if there is no designation, if you are not the chairman of any society, if you are not, uh, you know, you do not hold any designation, then what you can do is, you can write a responsible citizen. That is your designation. I hope you have understood what editorial letters are. Uh, if you really want few examples, self-written examples, my self-written examples, or any other example, then you can please uh, contact me, all right, after watching this video. I'll be sending those examples to you. You can go through those examples. You can see the kind of language that I have used in those uh, letters and then you can learn more. So, uh, children, here we come to the end of the explanation of editorial letters. These are really very, very important children because all of the letters have been deleted from your course this year. So these letters are really important. Go through this lesson once or twice and practice few questions. If you want some practice questions, you can, uh, for that also you can contact me. Thank you.